it's me Angie and I'm just gonna do my skincare routine with you guys I've had some people asking me exactly what I do and what a good skincare routine is for them so the truth is is that the best skincare routine for you is one that works best for you you don't want to do something that's too much that you're not gonna want to do or be able to keep up with you want to make it doable um, so a good basic skincare routine would start with cleansing the face. Um, and then after that you would tone and then exfoliate once or twice a week and then mask once or twice a week and then treat the skin depending on what kind of treatment that you need, um, would be the things that you, you want to work on with your skin. And then you would moisturize, um, that's two times a day. And then you would do eye cream, eye care, and then protect um, your skin with like an SPF that's made for your face. And then um, all over body care would be the ninth step. Now you would add in more or less steps depending on how much you're willing to do, want to do, um, and how important it is to you. So you could take a test to find out like what products are best for your skin and you could work with a dermatologist or even the dermatologist they have online on Eminence Organic Skincare. Um, then they would help you figure out like what kind of treatments to use and what would be best for your skin. There's so many fun, fun, fun things. Um, anyways, this is what I do typically. I'm gonna show you. So my steps, I use the Clear Skin Probiotic Cleanser, and it's for acne prone skin from oily to combination type skins. It's to cleanse and clarify the skin. It's cooling, invigorating properties of cucumber and tea tree oil, moisturize with sweet almond milk and exfoliate with yogurt to deep clean pores without stripping the skin of hydration. So you just apply a small amount of product onto the skin, Massage it gently with fingertips in circular motion, covering the face and neck, and then remove with a damp face cloth. Rinse thoroughly and pat dry. For a lighter application, dilute with a few drops of water before application. Do not use on broken or abraded skin. So all of this stuff is organic, natural, biodynamic, sustainable, cruelty-free, no parabens. I don't know how to say this other word. No late <laughs> or sodium lauryl sulfate or propylene glycol and no animal testing and eminence organic skincare products contain natural organic and biodynamic ingredients cruelty free committed to protecting the future of our planet through green practices the active ingredients of course are the cucumber juice yogurt sweet almond milk tea tree oil willow bark extract and bio complex too so, um, I don't affiliate with this company, but I love, love, love these products. I came across these products when I was working at a spa and I have been hooked ever since. And it actually turns out that I can get the products, um, a lot cheaper than I did at the spa just from ordering them online myself. So right now I'm using this, um, clear skin face wash and it is like, so, uh, it just has this really earthy smell to it. It just like opens the senses. It's not like what I would call a yummy smell or a good smell, but it's a calming, like sort of like rooting you to nature kind of smell. And this stuff is really non-abrasive. It's really, um, oh, it doesn't like to irritate the skin at all. It's really like soft and just gentle and it feels really good. Um, I get it close to my eyes and it doesn't even burn my eyes. So I try to stay away from my lashes as much as possible. I get my lashes done again tomorrow. I'm excited. Doing film. Okay. So then we're supposed to pat the skin dry. Um, we don't necessarily need to because I'm going to exfoliate next. And this is the exfoliant I have. It's actually a strawberry rhubarb dermafoliant with lactic acid. Um, so it's abrasive, kind of like Comet or Ajax, like for cleaning, but it's not, um, it's not so abrasive that it hurts or even irritates the skin. Ugh, I got mine wet last night in the shower or last time in the shower. And so it clogs up the little holes if I'm not careful, but it comes out just like a powder. 
and you don't need a whole lot. And this, so with the cleanser that I just did, you want to do that twice a day in the morning and the evening. And with this, you want to do it only once or twice a week. Uh, what this is going to do is going to make your skin like, uh, what is it called? Brighter. Like it's going to get the dead skin cells off that you don't want on there. So it reveals a newer, brighter skin. And it's really, oh, it feels good. I like it. Mm -hmm. And it has a yummy strawberry smell. It's not like a really strong strawberry smell, but it smells good. And they have so many different products you don't even know. Like different like eye creams. They have, I think, three different abrasive like exfoliants like this. Um, yeah. Oh, I said I was supposed to tone first. I don't tone first when I exfoliate because I like to just get all that off first. I really feel like it should be done first. I think if you don't exfoliate, tone will be the second step. But I don't like to do that before. So this is what I do. I mean, you do whatever works for you, but I feel like we would be washing off all the toner we put on if we waited. So next I'm going to do a mask. And for that, I'm going to put it on, apply it, and then after that, I'm going to come back after it's been on for the amount of time it needs to be on for. This mask is amazing. Look, I just ordered a new one because mine's almost gone. Amazing. This is like my number one go-to. I have to have this product for my face um, because I love it and it works so well. And oh my gosh, it's like if you have like an emergency like breakout or like skin issue that starts all of a sudden it just clears it right up. And if you like, oh, if you wore this to bed every night and just like slept with it on your face, it's perfectly safe to do that too. So with Eminence, when I worked at the spa, there's a lady that comes around and she trains us and she gives us like trainings on everything, every product. And then like, it's just awesome. I love the skincare line. I still love it. So she told us too, that like their labs are more like juicing bars than they are actual um science labs and they the reason we have to use water with the products is to activate it because for the shelf life you know you don't want to leave all of the water in there but it has a lot of like nutrients and hydration in it but you have to activate it with water so um these only have the shelf life of about like in the stores they don't i can't remember what it was but they don't stay on the shelves very long so this says mix a small amount of product in your hand with a few drops of water and apply evenly over the entire face and neck um, and the decolata area. I call it decolage. You call it decolata. I don't know what's what. And I usually do. I'll usually go down to like where my cleavage starts. Um, use it one or two times a week as often as desired. Um, let's see. How long do we keep it on for? Oh, 10 minutes it said. So this mask is amazing. So this mask is nice because if you wear it to bed, it actually dries clear. So it doesn't like stain your pillows or your sheets or anything like that. And there's been times that I've woken up with this mask on and forgot I put it on and like worn it all day long. I mean, you can kind of see the filmy like, like, you know, kind of like a film, but it's not like you would like a mask. You can really tell. Unless you're really, really looking at me. Or you might have thought I was really pale. Either way, it's good to sleep in. And the lady that trained us about the, these products told us that if one one product that she like loves the most is this one. And the reason why is because if you use this mask alone, it literally does for you all of the things that you need to have healthy skin. Because Eminence works from the inside out. So it's fixing the problems and not just being a solution to being reactive to the issues, you know? So there's something causing the acne or there's something causing the dry skin or there's something causing oily skin. So it's fixing those problems for you. And it's putting in more of the good stuff and taking out the bad stuff. So I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. Actually, I'll describe the next step for you. So they say this was step two, I say it's step one, two, three. I say it's step four because I don't want to rinse it right off my face when I do a mask and a exfoliant. That's just me. So there's lots of different ones of these too. This one is a mist. They have mists. They have um, toners. They have birch water. Um, this one's the fragrant neroli oil and coconut. 
Revive the skin in this hydrating toner complete with natural retinol alternative containing chicory root and terra tree plus Swiss green apple stem cells for visible firming action. You shake it up well, cleanse the skin, and apply one to two sprays onto the face, neck, or apply with a cotton pad, avoiding the eye area. Leave on, reapply during the day for a lift to refresh the complexion. So it's recommended that you do this twice a day, in the morning and the night, but I use mine as a lift, like they said. Like, if I feel like I'm just, like, blah, if I look blah or my skin feels blah, I'll just, like, go and spritz a little on my face, and it wakes me right up, and it makes my face look fresh again and ready to go, like I haven't been napping in the middle of the day. Okay, 10 minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. See, it's not even, like, as dry as it would be, like, when I sleep in it, but it's kind of dry, it's kind of clear, it's like a waxy kind of look. But if you slept in it in the morning, it would look like a little clearer than this. I'm going to go ahead and rinse my face off. Mm. Feels so smooth already. And I love the way these are all really good for inflammation and they help with that. Um, I personally wake up feeling kind of poofy every morning, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my face off, pat it dry. Okay. Now, our next step is toner that we're going to use the Neroli Age Corrective Hydrating Mist. There's a lot of different kinds of these mists and they do different things. Um, there's also tonics and birch water and all sorts of stuff. Whew, I just put it right in my mouth. Whew. It doesn't burn or anything. It has a really earthy smell. And then this is our next step. So this has mango steam in it. Mango steam is really, really good if you have aging skin, like if you're getting in your 30s, 40s. Um, this stuff helps us to, it adds, adds collagen, but it also helps our body to produce collagen. And not just the collagen that we would be producing at the age we are now, but like 20 year old collagen, like better collagen, better quality collagen. So, um, and collagen helps with like, um, you getting like elasticity. So like it helps with you getting like losing volume in your face. That's what this is gonna help with, with like getting sallow, just kind of drawn out hanging skin, jowls kind of thing. This you apply one to two pumps to your cleansed skin once or twice daily, leave it on, and it may be followed with a moisturizer. Okay, so this gently resurfaces and refines the skin to unveil a natural luminous glow with the ultimate daily concentrate featuring lactic acid, advanced pore minimizing act actives, and anti- Oxidant rich mango seed suitable for daily use with all skin types including sensitive skin So I didn't realize that it does pore minimizing as well, which is really important to me Because I've always been afraid I was gonna end up with my mother's pores Still don't have them at my age yet. So that's good So I just did two squirts in my hand and that's like plenty for my face for real Oh, it smells so good, too it has like kind of a citrusy scent to it. Well, like mango-ish, but also it smells like an orangey. So I'll rub that in. Okay. Now, ordinarily, um, I'm gonna let this dry in. And I usually don't use a moisturizer all the time or SPF on my skin because I'll just find that I can really like kind of greasy, not really, yeah, I guess greasy is oily. It's like, um, and then my makeup moves around a lot more, even with the setting spray. So I usually don't, and I'm very sensitive, like I'm very sensitive to breaking out. So I'm really careful with what I put on my skin, but I have some samples here. Wait, is that what's next or is it eyes? Yeah, it's moisturized and then eye care. I have some samples that came in with my order and where 
to go? Oh, it's already on the counter. Whoops. <laughs> so I have this one, Rose Hip Whip Moisturizer. So I've never tried this one before. It says it's superb, lightly textured moisturizer. It contains high amounts of vitamins A and C from rose hips to restore the look of vitality to dull aging skin and calms the appearance of redness. Apply a oh, <laughs> apply a layer over the face, the entire face and neck area, and leave on. For a lighter application, mix a small amount of product in your hand with a few drops of water. For extra hydration, apply a thicker layer in dry areas. Open it up here. And there's probably enough for two applications in here for me. Let's see, it looks like this. It smells like rose. It smells good. I'm just going to apply it everywhere. Oh, it's so smooth. It actually reminds me of the way this Kendua um, oil stuff. It's like, a, oh, it's like almost feels like paraffin. Smooth and pretty. Maybe I do need a moisturizer. <laughs> okay, so. No, I'm not saying I don't. I just don't prefer to. Then... The next step is eye cream. And this is so important as we're aging. Like all of this is important. If you didn't do skincare before now, it's all the more reason because it can stop what's already happening and also like maybe reverse some, reverse, reverse some of what's happened as well. Um, it just depends. So this is my favorite, favorite, favorite eye cream. It's the Eminence Snow Mushroom Moisture Cloud Eye Cream. Um, to the entire eye area twice daily, patting gently with fingertips until fully absorbed, and leave it on. Okay. Sometime I'll have to like write a blog about these products and tell you what they all do in detail. So, you just want, see I have a lot, so it's enough for both of my eyes really. And I do it on top too because patting, patting, patting it in nice and softly. I keep rubbing on accident. Sometimes what I'll do when I'm doing my makeup is I'll put this on and I'll just leave it on like white, you know, while I'm doing everything else. And then when it's time to get to it, I will go ahead and just um, rub it in kind of like with my concealer. And it actually like helps my concealer cover better. Too. I think it's because it's white. I don't know. That's why I just beat my head. But I can feel it helping with like inflammation. I feel like my sinuses like just decompressing even. It's good, good, good stuff. Okay. So that's eye cream. I look brighter already, don't I? So I also don't have the sunscreen, like the SPF. Um, that's just something I really, I really don't do. I really don't burn them on my face ever. So and then the next step would be body care. For body care, I stick with a good old hemp lotion. Not usually this flavor or scent. I usually use, not this one either. <laughs> I usually use the original. I love the scent of original. It's always been my scent since like high school. And it kind of has a, a banana, banana type smell to it. And it's kind of flowery and fresh too. So that's all I got for you folks. I hope you enjoyed it. That's my skincare routine and what I do. Um, everybody's skincare routine can be different. Um, go ahead and drop me in the comments what you do for your skincare routine daily so that um, we can all like kind of compare and see what kind of products are out there that you guys like. Love ya. Bye.